asking a woman about women, about male female dynamics, there's so many guys on the internet telling you about what women think about men and uh, what works for them. And it's good sometimes to t talk to the women. So I'm here. Welcome in Much Love Fam Trap here. Sophia. And um, yeah, she's not an expert on all things woman. I'd say I am. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, well, she's a woman. Yeah. I'd say I have an idea because, I guess, I'm a woman. Yeah, so I invite you to share your own experience, but also to share on behalf of women if you think that you have insight or you can share from friends. So, yeah, welcome in and uh, make sure to watch to the end because we're going to, I've got a, a list of uh, ideas that I'm going to spring on her. She, see video, she doesn't be know what I'm about to ask. So I'm excited to see you. Don't feel obligated to agree with me at all. Like if you totally I disagree. I don't have a problem disagreeing. Yeah. Okay. Great. I studied philosophy. We convinced. But... Okay. So the first question is simple and that is what, what do you find and what do you think women find attractive that, in a man. In a man. Yeah. Like physically wise or just how they approach What draws everything? you to them? Um, I guess like a feeling of comfortability, at least for me, that's a huge part of my attraction towards men. It's like if I can feel safe and seen and like I can be my authentic self with them, then that's a huge component. Physically, I mean, I feel like women, we all have different physical attractions, like putting physical attraction into a box of like a set of standards can be difficult because I feel like each person has a very different you know way that they're attracted mm -hmm. to like the physical type but in terms of like just energetically yeah feeling safe feeling as if mm. the man is interested in you mm -hmm. like there's a good sense of conversation if the conversation is flowing and like mm. he has good banter and is able to keep up a good conversation okay. that's okay. important taking notes here I'm like, <laughs> keep going <laughs> Um, yeah, it's that, like, being able to see their personality come through. It's, like, I don't want to feel like I'm talking to, mm. like, a wall, you know? Right. It's, like, I want to have, like, points of relate relatability, and as women, we're definitely, like, we work through our emotional centers, mm -hmm. and so we like to connect to people emotionally, and I think that's a huge place where feelings start to develop, yeah. is if you can connect on more of an authentic emotional like mm -hmm. basis rather than just surface level that's just speaking from my own personal experience kind of how i enjoy connecting mm. with people so okay know. there's a couple things you said in there so you started by mentioning physical attraction but yeah. then moved on to some other things how important is that to physical you and to, do you think women if like the guy's hot or he's handsome is that like optional is it a plus is it sometimes negative of like yeah I think it really depends. I mean, I've talked to many different women before. For me, physical attraction, I feel like, is important. Just because, like, if I'm not physically attracted to you, then, in you know, in terms of, like, like connecting intimately, it's like I want to be physically attracted to someone that I'm connecting intimately to. If not, then I'll just be friends with them if I enjoy their presence and their right. company. Um, but... And then I've also talked to other women who are like, oh, no, physical attraction, like, isn't as important to me. It's like, if I can connect with them on an emotional layer, okay. then their physical attraction comes more yeah. through connecting. But I think it definitely goes hand in hand. One may be more important to some women, and one may not be. In terms of, like, women who are just, like, trying to go out for... I mean, there is hookup culture, <laughs> yeah. and they're just trying to get Then it matters laid. more there. Then it right? matters more. It's like, okay. if I just want to have, like, this is a short time experience, and then I want this to be, like, me to be physically attracted to them. This is something that I want to build upon, then the emotional connection may be more important yes. than physical. Okay. Well, what is physically attractive? Like, what, what do, do you, and also good? women, like, I mean, one thing, for instance, is yeah. me men have a certain look that they like to go for that women don't necessarily like, for instance, the guys that get ridiculously huge, for instance. Some people like that. Some people, I yeah, but it's like not, that. that's more men that like that. Yeah, like, no, I think that's yeah. definitely a misconception is that women find that attractive, at least for the, mostly the women that I have am friends with, it's like there becomes a point where it's like too much. Yeah. You know, there's that fine yeah. line of like, yes, it's nice to have, you know, a fit physique, 
and but it's like if you push it to this certain extent where it's like you're a walking boulder it's like no dude, no. no you want someone who moves well right and it's like gonna live a long time and not get injured i imagine like yeah. markers of health exactly but i also yeah, feel like somewhat lean there's you know it depends on because you notice how a lot of times couples not all but generally speaking it's like you go for someone that kind of mirrors your body type in a way yes. or like that makes you feel comfortable within your skin so if it's like if you're in a physically fit you know right body right, right. And you go that's what i was saying is like is it a negative of like this guy's like too hot for me if girls are like this guy's too fit for me like i want someone more on my sort of yeah yeah i guess that, that can be because i think some women compare you want to match, their, right? Yeah, I can compare their bodies to the yeah. man's. Or it might even happen, like, I would hook up with this guy, but I couldn't see myself in a relationship with him because mm -hmm. he's, like, too... He's just not compatible, right? Is that something that, that maybe happens? Mm, that's a good question. I've experienced that of a woman who's, like... Yeah, you're hot and handsome, but I prefer more like feminine men <laughs> to actually date. Oh, okay. For instance. I guess that could be a factor. I mean, it just depends, like, from woman to woman. It's hard to put a blanket statement on attraction right. and, like, yeah. what. But. Okay. Well, let's move on. So it's somewhat. It's somewhat important. It's important. It's important. Physical attraction? Yeah. Well, so, yeah. yeah, I mean, so my advice to guys is, like, always get good sleep, have a clean diet, mm -hmm. and have an active lifestyle. There's a million ways to work out that are fun. It actually does matter, and it makes you more approachable. When you're... Like, when, you, when you're fit. Yeah, like, yeah. as a man, as man and men and women, you have a lot of control over how good-looking you are. Yeah. Especially men, it's a lot easier. Like, you can... I'm not going to say go to the gym, because I don't go to the gym, but like mm -hmm. get workout equipment or, yeah. you know, walk the dog, whatever, it matters. But you mentioned a lot of other things. Another thing you men mentioned is uh, uh, banter. So something that I've read in, in the science is, mm -hmm. is that one of the most attractive things is being funny. Oh, yeah. So... And also, you can make a woman laugh, like right. that's great. Yeah, yeah. That can be even more important than physical looks. It really just depends, right. like... I think men think that they do have to, if we're tracking it back to like physical appearance and stuff, that they have to like uphold this certain body type or something. And yes, I think that's important, but like do that more for your own self and your own health than like prioritize. If that makes you feel good, then that's great, but that's not necessarily the key to finding someone who finds you attractive. If it's going to boost your self-confidence, and that's going to help you find yeah. it because you are already more in an embodied state of confidence, which looks good. But it's not necessarily, I would say, it's the physical. Yeah. I mean, well, if you make people laugh, you make them feel good. Yeah. It's like you want to create important. positive emotions. Exactly. So how to actually be funny is sort of, <laughs> there's a lot of ways to do it. Like, yes. you could be goofy and silly. You could be outrageous. Yeah. You could be witty and clever. Part of what the reason why I think one of the reasons why humor is attractive is because it's a display of intelligence like it's hard to be it can funny. it's hard to be funny not everyone can be funny it also shows maybe a sense of ease where yeah. if you're too serious you're maybe it seems uncomfortable. yeah you're maybe uncomfortable um, okay so it's funny when I asked you about attraction, mm -hmm. the second word I had written down was safety. Yeah. So I think something I think is important that not all of men realize, and I think it's because safety can mean multiple things, mm -hmm. but so many women are assaulted in some way by men in their lifetime, mm -hmm. especially sexually. It's a huge number. It's not a small number. No. And it means that women know men are the greatest danger to them on earth. <laughs> like the, the worst thing that can happen is a dangerous yeah. man. Yeah. And um, so as a woman, you want a man who isn't going to assault you. Mm -hmm. 
So how, in, in safety in terms of that, like how important is that and how do you deem that a man is safe? Um, how important and then yeah how do you gauge that like this guy looks like he's not gonna beat me or whatever <laughs> I guess like just through interaction with them and like setting like having unspoken boundaries in a way like is he encroaching on my physical space and like mm, just mm. how respectful he is when we hang out in terms okay. of okay yeah, it's like if someone's all up in your business and like kind of almost too yeah, heavily yeah. touchy right off the bat. Yes. It's like I'm a very physically touched, like I have no problem touching <laughs> people. But it's like if I'm noticing that a guy's doing that, especially right when we meet and he's like kind yeah. of all up in my business, okay. I'm like, whoa. And I know that's a thing for many women too. It's like approach softly and gently and don't yes. just like force yourself into someone else's field. It's like we all have you know our protective bubbles our energetic fields and if you're like kind of getting in too heavily right. on someone's field right away then that's a red flag okay so i mean being more reserved mm -hmm. can signal safety well, well let me ask you a playful the first... res reserve like you can incorporate playful touch in a yeah. way but just like do it i feel like it's obvious do it respectfully yeah your intention and ask for consent right? that's a huge thing too it's like oh if you want if you're say you're out on a date with the woman or something and you're wanting to make a move and you're like well can i put my arm like around yeah, you like yeah. is that okay like that's do yeah. ask for consent it's not like showing that you don't have confidence it's like showing right. that you have respect for the woman's boundaries yeah i was like do you want me to kiss you like that's i think that's great <laughs> ask them there's um, nothing wrong with asking because then it puts you know it saves you from being if the woman doesn't want to kiss you, and you're like both left, like you know, you try to go yeah, in, yeah. And like oh no. Well, I didn't even I didn't even say I wanted. I thought you wanted to kiss me, so <laughs> no, I'm good. I didn't even want that, anyways. <laughs> no. <laughs> there um, you go. Okay, how important is it though? Like, is that one of the more important things? A man, yeah. If you're trying to develop a relationship with someone, yes. 100 percent, very important. Women want to feel safe. It's like yeah. the partner that they choose. Granted, we have the whole, you know, a lot of people get addicted into toxic situations yeah. and you're, but that's not a stable relationship that you want to build upon. Yeah. You want to break out of the toxic, toxicity. That's a whole But women like direction. feeling secure. Right. Yeah, safety is We important. all, people, that's just a human nature thing is like you want to feel yeah. secure within your relationship. Okay. What about, uh, in terms of judging a man as safe? Mm-hmm. How helpful is the man having either having other relationships with women, like females? Pre-selection is a thing of like mate copying. If you see a man, it's like other women feel safe around him. Mm -hmm. Is that a shortcut or like does that make it easier to deem him safe? Yeah, that's always it. I mean, women talk about that if he is interpersonal relationships with women that are friendly and like yeah. not like he's has all these friendships with women you know there's two different yeah, like yeah. lines where it could go it's like oh are these friendships or are these like casual situations but if it is like he has a bunch of platonic female yeah. friends then that's definitely a good gauge into being like okay people feel safe around yeah. this guy's presence i'm yeah. always telling guys that nobody believes this they're no. like oh, i don't know guys just they just want to go for sex like instantly it's ridiculous well that's the problem and that's yeah. why that's not i mean it doesn't work because i've had situations in that where i've started hanging out with a guy and it instantly went from like zero to a hundred and it you know it was something that yeah. came and fizzled out really fast and yeah. i didn't feel necessarily respected afterwards and i think that's like you want to feel respected and you don't want to feel like you're in the situation merely because the man has interest in yes. acquiring okay. a connection with your body. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so the next thing is related. This is another thing I think most men aren't aware of. Mm -hmm. Is uh, how many obligational interactions women go through. Mm. And also appeasement. So these things are related. The obligation is like a man buys you dinner. Mm -hmm. 
So, and then he's, there's some reciprocation wanted, whether that's hooking up or like just something, right? Oh, giving with an Yeah, or, okay. yeah, yeah, creating a, creating obligation mm -hmm. that as a woman you may, you may actually comply with, but it feels, it might feel uncomfortable. And then related is appeasement of knowing men are dangerous. Okay, this guy approached me. Um, I'm going to be polite. Mm -hmm. I may even give him my number, yeah. but I'm just waiting for him to leave. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, talk to me about, about obligation and appeasement. I think it depends on the woman. Like I've talked about this with friends because that's something that I feel like I need to work on just from being, for me, it comes out of a place of just like not wanting to hurt people. So if I have a guy that comes up to me and I already know that I'm not really interested Sometimes I'll try to just like deflect and be like, oh, I'm busy, like I gotta keep going. But you know, sometimes I'll fall into the conversation just out of a sense of guilt of just like, oh, this person's lonely, he wants someone to talk to. And then we'll talk for a little bit and then I'll give him my number and then maybe I'll text him once and then not respond and that's something that I'd like to work on. But right. for other women, some women don't have a problem setting boundaries and they, and it just depends on the, the type of woman a lot of my yeah. friends who are more like because a lot of my friends are like in their 30s yeah they're at this point are they're like if someone comes up and talks <laughs> to me i'm done i'm 24 i'm still fucking working on that so um yeah it's definitely it depends on the the woman and just how much experience because it gets old after a while right it definitely gets old. i imagine it also depends on past history like if yeah. a woman has been assaulted, she's and more, she more a... she's more aware of the danger yeah. and is more likely to do appeasement mm -hmm. of like, if I reject this guy publicly, he might. I that know, can go like, both ways though, because yeah. I've talked to women who have been in situations like that, and they're like, I have no problem setting my boundaries now. It's like if I'm not interested in someone, then I'm just gonna say no. Yeah, that's Just good. Just because, like, it's like, why would I open that door if it has the risk to go into that direction? Yeah. Okay. Um. That's not to say that approaching woman is always. Okay, a negative that's a great thing. question. So, how do you? I'm I'm not a fan of approaching women generally, mm -hmm. and I generally advise guys not to do it. Yeah but there's certain situations so let me ask you about that like how does a woman give a green flag but um what i think is one is um if you've seen each other a number of times and mm -hmm. have never interacted it's an okay thing to do because mm -hmm. it's actually it can be weird that like you don't know each other if it's your first time seeing someone and you're just approaching it can be, it's like a weird thing to do like are you doing this with everybody mm -hmm. And um, it's better if there's some kind of invitation, like a woman looks at you or smiles at you. Um, or another one is oftentimes women will approach indirectly while they'll stand next or near you. Mm -hmm. And then if you, if you talk to them, it's sort of like you're approaching them, but really but it's like you felt that they were you're meeting in the middle. Yeah. So talk to me about that of like, that's a tricky just, one. Yeah. Cause, so I've talked to a lot of my friends who do not like approaching men, and they much rather have the man approach them. Okay. For me, I don't have a problem with going up to someone yeah. who I find interesting to talk to. Like, I went and was like, yo, that's how we started hanging yeah. out. I was like, I like your energy. Let's chat. But, um... Why did you approach me? Or, or, I mean, you didn't even, why did you set up next to me or whatever? Well, it was one of the empty spots, and I'd yeah. seen you throughout the day, and I was like, that guy looks like he would be interesting to talk what to. What was interesting, <laughs> like, I came to this event alone, I had no one. I, like, talked to hardly anyone, I'm like, <laughs> just, but yeah, try to be, give off an aura of safety and having fun. Well, that's probably what I, I mean, yeah. I'm just very, we were all, I mean, as human beings, I'm tapped into energy, but we're all subconsciously tapped into energy on like, you know, a subconscious yeah. basis. So there was probably a subconscious part of me that was like, oh, he feels safe, you know, and maybe I was tapping into that you were an adventure. Well, like, you I didn't had see to... me do any weird, creepy things, like... <laughs> that's true. <laughs> right? I mean, that's one of the things, is yeah. if you see someone just 
yeah. making other people uncomfortable, uncomfortable then you don't want <laughs> to... But going back to the approaching yeah. men, though, I mean men approaching women, yeah, I guess it's like read the scenario, like you were saying, if you notice that she's, you know, getting closer to you without creating conversation, then maybe pick up the hints that, you know, maybe I can try to initiate a conversation with yeah. her. Um, as long as you do it respectfully, it's like, I don't know, there's ways of, like, not being too aggressive while you're approaching a woman. Yeah. You know, like, don't go up to her and be like, oh, you're so fine, like, let's, you know, because right, right. people try to do pickup lines, it's like, first try to just, like, get to know them yeah. first, like, be like, hey, how's your day going, like, you know, try to spark up other conversation right. that's not, like, so harsh and directly to the point. Or even your body language, maybe yeah. instead of being pointed directly at them, if you come up alongside side. someone, yeah, and then you're looking at something together. I think eye contact's not bad. Yeah, eye contact like is eye good. Contact. Yeah, yeah, I mean, those things can go together. Yeah. Well, okay, so for the women who don't want to approach and want to be approached, mm -hmm. they're still doing things to give the man some kind of idea, right? They're not just, like, face down, like, <laughs> some guy's going to approach me, right? I guess it depends. I don't know. I've talked to my friends about this before because there was a scenario that my friends were in... We were in Waikiki the other night, and I guess one of them thought this guy was attractive, but then they didn't go up to him, and I was like, why not? You know, like, right. I don't know, I thought he was too good for me. I was like, well, you never know until you try. Yeah, well, it so, also could be he didn't make himself approachable in some way. Was it, like, hard to approach him? That's a good question. I don't remember the scenario. Right. I mean, he yeah. could be, if he, he could be, like, sitting at a booth, then it's super easy to approach him, mm -hmm. right? You yeah. see what I'm saying? That's true. Maybe, yeah, as a man, you can do things to make yourself approachable, possibly, but, um, I, I guess you could start by trying to make eye contact, like, from afar. Right. Like, if I you kind of send a gaze. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't really do club game, but not a, that's how a, it works. I mean, at any You cannot do that. any speaking. It's like, she keeps, yo, she keeps looking at me. I'm gonna go grab her hair and whisper in her ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I guess that would be the most basic signal. Yeah. Um, okay. I kind of want to break it into part two. Mm -hmm. Because there's a whole other direction I want to go yeah so yeah That's let's do that okay. well, we'll get it in the next video you guys will have to look we'll so um, yeah I have a uh, if you want you guys want help authentically improving your social life there's gonna be a link down below with possibly a couple resources and then Sophia is also actually on YouTube so oh, yeah. if you guys want to follow her I just started come check out the channel we're gonna chat about some just life chat about life art you gotta tell them your channel how to find you. Oh, so it's Meditating Mushrooms. That's the channel link, I guess. I don't really know. I just started, so I think that's probably that's my handle. I think. If you go to my Instagram, Meditating Mushroom, it's in the bio. So. Yeah, do that. <laughs> okay. Let me know if you guys liked it.